Hello, this is Big G Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun, The Lost Age. Let's head to Lemuria. Why not? Let's see. Well, we got that little, or well, big fog in the middle of the ocean there. So, sure, let's check it out. What's the worst that could possibly happen? You'll know you're getting close to it when you start seeing the screen brighten up a lot. But all right, we got a new enemy there, Merman. This guy is weak to Mars and is otherwise pretty unremarkable. No status ailments or anything it can inflict. It has like some water special attack or synergy or whatever it is. But yeah, nothing too extraordinary to deal with. Okay, now we're getting pretty close. I want to get to the southern side of the place. After killing this guy, that is. Yeah, Felix can just one-shot these guys. Basically, anything that's really small doesn't have a whole lot of HP, and you could probably one-shot them. And it's important to fight all the enemies you can find, even if you can one-shot them, because we're going to need quite a bit of money coming up today. Alright, let's head on inside. The Sea of Time. So we got all these, like, whirlpools and stuff around here. No random enemies, I don't think. Well, there might be, but whatever. But yeah, for right now, we can't really do a whole lot with that anyway, because we don't have the tridents. But if you do try to go into Lemuria, well, you get a little scene here. Someone want to be show off, so sure, why not? Oh. Well, I would think that would, you know, put a whole lot of stress on the hull and all that. Oh, well, we did hit a whirlpool. Yeah, what gives, man? Yeah, we're almost there. Well, what do you mean? I thought you said you knew the whole place was, like, surrounded by fog. Do you see any other place like that? On the map? Ah. So what do you do? You just hang out in a giant fog room or something all the time? Ah. Oh. Well, you had to leave somehow. It's got to be around here somewhere. But, yeah, for right now, there's really not a whole lot we can do with that. Well, yeah, that seemed pretty obvious to me there, Kraden. Nice. Okay, so, yeah, we'll just save that for later. Now, if you go south, east and a little south... Aha! We got a little bit of shallow water here. Whenever you see one like that, you can get a hidden treasure. That one can be reforged into a weapon, but I've got better stuff, so I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, let's see. Now I want to get to that island, so east and a little north to get there. The beach to get onto the island is on the, what is it? It's on the north side of the island there, so that's why I gotta go mo more north a little bit. But otherwise, these guys are easy enough. Basically, in the ocean, if it flies, it's weak to Jupiter. If it doesn't fly, it's weak to Mars. And that's really all there is to it. Let's see what we got here. Hmm, there's a little cave up to the south there, but I can't reach it with my ship. If only there were an item that would let me get over there, but I cannot. That's... Well, let's check out this little island here. Nothing too extraordinary here. But it's there. Oh, well, whatever works for you. Let's see, around here, you can find a hidden treasure. Now in here, we actually have a very important NPC. Yeah, I was kind of there. You kind of saw, like, there was a little volcano there. They're all over the place in the Sea of Time, so that's probably what's going on. Whoa, holy cow! So I guess they got someone guarding Lemuria there, too, huh? Well, he doesn't anymore? Ah, 
okay. So yeah, you, that's another clue as to how you're supposed to know, yeah, we need to put this trident together in order to significantly advance the plot. But it's going to take a long time to get to that point. Well, we got a little turtle before. Hmm. Remember him for later, viewers. For now, there's nothing we can do to help him out. But yeah, I just wanted to come here to just show you that little bit of dialogue. And let's see, the next town I want to go to is to the north. Now, I'm not actually going to talk to most people there, simply because they've got their own problems to deal with. And it's not particularly relevant to us right now. So I'm going to save that for later when the plot requires me to go there. The only reason I talk to the people at Champa for now is because if you don't, well, a certain event will occur that'll change the situation there. Let's put it that way. Game? Ah, let's see. These guys... Well, I didn't expect to find these guys here today, but I'll see what I can do. I can't tell how powerful they are, if they're powerful at all, really. I would guess all these guys are weak to Mars, just like their cousins. But alright, easy enough. So let's check out the village of Izumo. I'm just gonna buy some stuff here, get some treasure, and that's it. And then we'll move on. Actually, you know what? Let's get the treasure first before buying some stuff. Okay, let's see. We gotta get to the lower right house. Yeah, right over here. And let's see, there's a box which contains a hidden treasure. And that's actually a very good piece of armor. One of my favorites in the game. Let's see. Well, I gotta get some room for Shiba first. So, yeah, let's just move that axe over there. And let's see, the festival coat, I want to give that to Shiba. Not only does it have pretty good defense, but it also gives you a luck boost, which is really good for status protection. So, that's pretty nice. Let's see, okay, let's get the Cyclone Synergy to help us out here. And clear all this stuff. To find a couple hidden treasures. All right. Let's see, okay, in this house, I think. Let's see, there's a jar which contains a useless smoke bomb that I don't care about. And let's see, we need to go, let's see, by the, oh, I gotta get up top there. I think I do. Let's see, I think one of these jars, no? Ah, there it is, I must have uh, somehow missed it. But yeah, get an elixir there. And let's see, I thought there were some plants around here that had something under them too. Yeah, there it is, another hidden treasure. And let's see, we gotta get behind the house there, but that's kind of hard to do from he from up there. So, haha! -ha. Yeah, just go behind there. And let's see, I think there's a jar around here somewhere. There it is. And it contains another hidden treasure. Finally, we get water of life. Man, they sure held off on giving us any of those. But all right, okay, so let's see, where is the shop? There it is. Shops are gonna have that three circle icon there for a little while, just because they don't just sell equipment, they sell well, just about everything there, all in one shop. So let's see what we got here. Okay, first things first, wanna get a new weapon there for Pierce, Shamshir, that'll work pretty well for Pierce. Yeah, look at that attack power boost. Holy cow. Yeah, let's just get rid of the old one there. And let's see, there's another one. The War Gloves, one of my favorite pieces of hand armor in the game. Give that to Piers. He could use the help on his attack power there. Okay, and then there's a couple circlets that I want to get, but I'm going to have to sell some stuff, so... Yeah, your time is through, Fall Metal Vest. Oh well. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. 
for now, I'm just gonna sell the Lucky Metals. Eventually, I will want to rebuy them before going to Lemuria. So, yeah, you, you want to buy them later if you're playing ahead of me. But let's see, this Rusty Axe, you could forge it and then sell it. But in my experience, it seems like if you actually forge it, the cost to do so is either less than or not that much better than what it costs to uh, buy it. Or, well, sell it. So you're not going to make a profit on it by forging it and then reselling it. Or at least not very much. Okay, let's see if that's good enough. I need to buy a couple platinum circlets. Yeah, the clarity circlet, your time is through. We need better defense. And let's see, I have just enough for another one there. Yeah, Nurse's Cap, that only casts the Cure spell, 70 HP. Yeah, that's not really as useful at this point. Yeah, I'm surprised I didn't have to sell anything, or, well, sell anything important to get all that. Well, I have a little more money than I usually do. But all right, okay, so we got the coat there. How are we looking here? Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Okay, so before heading to the next town, let's see, where are we? Okay, I need to get way over there. Because there's another one of those little pools of water there. That'll have another weapon, and that one will actually be pretty useful. Very useful, in fact. So I figured, let's go exploring the ocean, get all the treasure that we can first, and then we'll head to the town where they can actually forge all that stuff. There's still some more items that you can get in the Western Sea. Well, spoiler alert, we're gonna get, get there eventually. Oh, I forgot to reset my gem. That's okay. Oh, it was just ether anyway. Well, one the nice thing about going through the ocean is you don't really have to worry about your uh, synergy that much because the enemies are relatively weak. Whoa, hell of a waterfall you got there. Yeah, the synergy doesn't cost a whole lot, and it seems like you regenerate your synergy pretty quickly, too. One thing you could do is get a hidden treasure, and that becomes the Hagbone Mace, which is really good. So I'm going to want to get that forged pretty soon. But yeah, something you could do, well, I can't do that with Pierce right now, but he, in one of his job classes, he gets the Avoid Synergy, which greatly reduces the encounter rate. And you could just cast it to avoid pretty much everything you might run into in the ocean. There we go. And by the time the avoid synergy would wear off, you'd have all your synergy back. So you could just basically do that indefinitely okay let's see we need to go straight down there looked like there were kind of a couple other patches of water where you might have been able to get stuff but now there's nothing really useful there so i wouldn't worry about it the next town is one of my favorite towns in the game Got one of my favorite uh, themes I got going on there. I'm not going to talk to anyone there. But again, I just want to go there, buy some better equipment, and then loot all the treasure and move on from there. We're not going to be able to do a whole lot there right now anyway. And after I'm done with my business at the next town here, I'll want to go back to Ayers Rock. If you recall, there was a treasure chest there that we couldn't get before. We needed... What was that synergy? Uh, the Frost synergy in order to get it. It is totally not worth going all the way back there for it. But I'm going to do it anyway for the sake of completion and to satisfy my unrelenting OCD. How far are we anyway? Okay, so 
Man, it's taking forever to get there. Yeah, that is a thing with going through the ocean. You know, let me check this out. Oh, okay, there's nothing there. Just trying to throw you off, I guess. Okay, let's see. Oop, no, I want to kill the merman. I'm not going to go for the gin kill on every single enemy because I want to actually get through all the exploration today, or at least most of it. Whee! And, okay, we made it to the town of Apogee, Apogee, however you want to pronounce it. Let's listen to the music a little bit. It kind of has a Star Tropics feel to it. I like it. Let's see, I think the shop is right up there. Yeah, we might as well do that now. I'm not going to be selling any treasure that we get here. Or at least nothing for a significant amount of money. Okay, let's see. There is one thing I do want to buy. Hmm. Yeah, I'm a bit short on money. Let me see. I could get rid of the Water of Life, or what's the other one? Ah, yeah, we have the Golden Ring. I need 6,400? Hmm. Let's go with the Water of Life. No, that's not enough. Yeah, let's go with the, what is that, the Mist Potion there, because that's way more powerful than we actually need right now. And that'll get me all the money that I need. Let's see. But it, this is a rare weapon that you can get here. Let's see. The Angelic Ankh. There we go. Get that for Shiba, and that ought to be good. Okay. Let's get some more treasure around here, then. Let's see. Okay. We need to go to the upper right house. Yeah. We don't need to rest up at the end. Let's see, this is in the house. Let's see, we're looking for a barrel. Well, there's only one. Pretty big barrel you got there. And let's see, by the lower right part of the town. Let's see if we use that there. We get a hidden treasure. All right. Okay, let's, let's see. I want to use that. Hmm. I'm going to actually give it to Piers because I'd like him to be a bit faster with using things like Ether or other gin that I'm going to be getting for him. And really, Felix is fast enough. Oh yeah, and Felix, ha I forgot, I yeah used one of the gin. That's why his agility seemed much lower than Piers, even though it wasn't. So I'd like to kind of get some disparity between all my characters and their agility, although Sheba and Piers are a little close, I wouldn't worry about that just yet. And haha! -ha, I was like, where'd the treasure go? No, it's around here. Okay, and one more thing. Let's see, right over here. Haha! -ha, oh. I can just jump right over that thing? Huh. I never knew that. But anyway, hmm, I wonder what that's for. Remember that for later, viewers. I'm not going to do that right now. I just wanted to grab some treasure, buy one more thing, and we can get out of here. Okay, where are we? Alright, I need to get all the way down to the bottom of the east side of the Asenia continent there. So let's just go to the southwest for now. What do we got around here? Nothing! For now. Eventually, the plot will direct us to do some stuff over there. Well, sort of. We'll eventually have to do some stuff there, whether you like it or not. Yeah, same thing with Zuma too. Both of those places, well, even that and the island at the Sea of Time. What was that? Yeah, they, they all got little dungeons for us to go through. But some of them we just 
can't really do a whole lot with right now. We need some more synergy. Okay, where are we? Okay, now we just go south. And we need to get to the southeast corner so we can get inside the continent there. Unfortunately, you can't just walk there from the west side of the continent. But that's okay. Oh, I forgot. I took a little damage in that last fight. And that's okay. You'll live, Pierce. Besides, it's not like you got that much HP to begin with anyway. Whee! Okay, so that river there, if I recall correctly, that'll take us all the way up to the town. Yeah, either that or really damn close to it. So, remember this spot for later? Because I'm going to come back there off-screen between episodes. For now, let's continue to the west and head back to Ayers Rock. Like I said, this is totally not worth it, but we're going to do it anyway. As is the case with so many things in my life. It's the Bailey Curse. It covers a lot of ground. Okay, let's see. How are we looking here? We need... Where is that? Okay, we need to get over to these beaches over there. You might also notice on the map further to the west. There's a whole bunch of reefs there, whatever that is, blocking our path. So that's why we can't get to the western sea from down here. So let's see, I think we're right by Garrow now. Yeah, there we are. But yeah, there's nothing of interest there. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother with using the right gen, just go. Yeah, they're not really worth anything that I care about. You could just run from them if you wanted. Okay, let's take a look around. Let's see. We gotta go pretty much straight up from here. We want to get to the middle part of the dungeon. Or, well, there were the three paths that lead up to the second screen. We need to go up the middle one to get to where we need to go. So we need to get on the right side of the screen to freeze one of those puddles of water. And then we need to get, circle around to the left side so that way we can get on top of the pillar that we can make with that. And we need that uh, whirlwind to send us to the left in order to get up to the part with the water there. Come on! Ah! Okay, I'll wait for the next one. Whee! Seems kind of arbitrary when those whirlwinds can take you right off the ledge while you're climbing, and when they can't. But alright, let's see. Yeah, that gun. Yeah, I don't know why they do that with this treasure, because it's not really worthwhile, and there's no way you would need to come here so far into the game. Well, we're not that far into the game. I don't even think we're halfway through, but still. Yeah, this game's much longer than the first game. There's a reason the file size is twice as big. Not just because of the world map or the graphics or everything. There's lots of stuff to do. And we go over here. Game? Try that one again. Whee! And what do we get for all this effort to get all the way back here? A vial that... Okay, that restores like 500 HP. And... Yeah, that's the only thing we can do back here, but... Well... There it is. But what do we find on the east side of the Asenia continent? Find out next time on Let's Play Golden Sun! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!